Hi, my name is Rafael Bejar. I'm a physician scientist at the UC San Diego Morris Cancer Center, where I direct the MDS Center of Excellence. Hi, my name is Casey O'Connell. I'm a hematologist at the Jane Ann Knoll Division of Hematology, University of Southern California, and director of the Gare Cures Myeloid Malignancy Program. So, Rafael, can you tell us a little bit about what MDS is and how it causes anemia? Sure. So, anemia is a condition where the body doesn't have enough red blood cells or hemoglobin, the protein that they carry, in the bloodstream. And in MDS, this can be caused for a variety of different reasons. But in general, what we think happens in MDS is that the bone marrow, which is responsible for producing all the blood cells in our bloodstream, doesn't do a very good job of making those red blood cells, and therefore, the levels of red blood cells and hemoglobin in the, in the peripheral blood are too low. How often does MDS-related anemia occur? So anemia is one of the most common findings in patients who have MDS. I'd say that more than three quarters of the patients who have the disease present with some sort of anemia, and it can range from mild to severe. There's a variety of different mechanisms that give rise to anemia. So some patients, for example, are just unable to make red blood cells efficiently. Other patients may have some difficulty making red blood cells, and for whatever reason, their body doesn't signal their bone marrow that they should make more. So there can be a, several different contributors to anemia, but in the end, like I said, most of the patients with MDS tend to have some degree of anemia.